Come on. Captain, my captain. Who knows where that comes from? Anybody. <laughs> Not a clue. It's from a poem by Walt Whitman about Mr. Abraham Lincoln. Now, in this class, you can either call me Mr. Keating, or if you're slightly more daring, oh, Captain, my captain. Let me dispel a few rumors so they don't fester at the back. And yes, I too attended Helton and I survived. And no, at that time I was not the mental giant you see before you. I was the intellectual equivalent of a 98-pound weakling. I would go to the beach and people would kick copies of Byron in my face. <laughs> now, Mr. Pitts. It's a rather unfortunate name, Mr. Pitts. Where are you? Mr. Pitts, you open your hymnal to page 542. Read the first stanza of the poem you find there. To the virgins to make much of time? Yes. Come on. <laughs> Somewhat appropriate, isn't it? <laughs> Gather ye rosebuds while ye may. Old time is still a-flying. And this same flower that smiles today, tomorrow will be dying. Thank you, Mr. Pitts. Gather ye rosebuds while ye may. The Latin term for that sentiment is carpe diem. Who knows what that means? Carpe diem. That to seize the day. Very good, Mr. Meeks. Meeks. Another unusual name. Seize the day. Gather ye rosebuds while ye may. Why does the writer use these lines? Because he's in a hurry. No. Ding! Thank you for playing anyway. We are food for worms, lads. Because believe it or not, each and every one of us in this room is one day going to stop breathing, turn cold, and die. And I'd like you to step forward over here. Peruse some of the faces from the past. You've walked past them many times. I don't think you've really looked at them. They're not that different from you, are they? Haircuts, full of hormones, just like you. Invincible, just like you feel. The world is their oyster. They believe they're destined for great things, just like many of you. Their eyes are full of hope, just like you. Did they wait until it was too late to make from their lives even one iota of what they were capable? Because you see, gentlemen, these boys are now fertilizing daffodils. Listen real close. You can hear them whisper their legacy to you. Go on, lean in. <laughs> 